and we are done. All right, cool. I don't feel anything. Good. How you doing? So far, so good. All right, I'm ready to hit the road. Hello. Feeling pretty white, too. Good. Yeah, so that's a pleasant surprise. Not groggy or anything. All right, good. see you all tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is still the day of surgery. I put on some surgical gloves just to part my hair real lightly with my fingertip to lift some of this up just to kind of see what things were looking like. And uh, my head is still numb. It's been, uh, it's been a couple of hours, but my head still feels numb. Okay. So this evening, this is still day one post-op. I mean, the first day of surgery. I'll be snoozing in my recliner. I've got an ice pack at the back of my head, hanging out with the puppies, and so far, so good. Well, this is the first day after surgery, and last night I slept in the recliner. I had the cold pack to the back of my head. I went ahead and put it in a pillowcase rather than put it directly on my skin. So, recliner, blankets, all that good stuff. This morning when I woke up, I um, had a slight headache in the back of my head. Went ahead and took my medication for that and that's doing okay. And by slight headache, I mean kind of like if you had a ponytail in there for a while. And I think really terrible. And we're fixing to head out to the doctor for our first uh, post-op visit. Here we are, we are the Jose Bear, first day after the transplant. And I'm going to wash Betty's uh, hair. Yeah, good job. Thank you. So will it make a difference because it's not 24 hours yet? No. Okay. A little bit. But what we want you to do is when it's, when if you were washing it at home, we want you to wait 24 hours. Gotcha. As you notice, it's a normal shower pressure. If the temperature changes, let me know, okay? Everything looks really nice. <laughs> Just dab with a towel. And that's all. Now we're going to blow dry for here. Warm, not hot, and um, gentle touch. And once I blow dry your hair a little bit, I will be able to use comb or brush. Okay. And just never touch your scalp. Combing, just be very gentle. Pull your hair away from your scalp so never, never scratch the scalp of your comb. And once I comb it, I'll be able to a little bit style it. And this is it. And three days after the surgery, you can apply any styling products if you want. And if you want to do uh, conditioning when you're washing it here you can put it on the ends uh -huh. but never on your scalp for okay. first three days okay okay good so you can style here it'll be very gentle and there it is I just got my hair washed so everything is out everything got blown dried they just weren't um, touching the scalp as they were drying everything out it's not as poofy as normal but it's but it's clean and uh, you can't really see anything as soon as you look around in the back with the donor sites and stuff, you can't really see anything. So my head, top of my head is still kind of numb, so it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, very, very mild um, headache in the back of my head, which if I go take a tile and all, that'll probably knock that out. Mm -hmm. You go back to your normal physical activities, mm -hmm. normal hair wash, and even I would like you to be more vigorous about it, stay longer in the shower, you really work your scalps and between seven and ten days all scabs should be gone okay and if you have little hair within each scab that comes out with a scab that's totally normal don't worry about it and the third thing is you'll start applying roll gain seven days after the surgery and then we'll see you ten days after for surgery <clears throat> today is day two post-op so today i feel a little bit more like doing a few more errands kind of getting out a little bit so you know, put, put a little makeup on, and then uh, for my hat, uh, the choice that I have on that one is you can come up and you can put it down where you're not touching anything on the top, 
my instructions and then pulling it down just a little tiny bit so I'm not touching any of the incisions on the side, I'm not touching anything on the top. <laughs> still sleeping in the recliner, still using my cold pack um, several times a day, 20 minutes at a time. Usually I'll go ahead and put it in a, uh, roll it up in a, um, a pillowcase so that I can kind of do it around the front, do it around the front, do it around the back and I don't have it all slipping and sliding. So, okay, day two post-op, so far so good. This is still day two. I switched hats a much looser, looser uh, stretch. So again, I just had the tiniest bit of pressure here and then on the back, but nothing on my stitches, nothing on the forehead because it's all really, really, really loose. Still taking the pain pills, usually, usually one at a time. Uh, start taking them whenever I start feeling it be tight uh, on my incision because if I wait much longer, it just kind of ramps up from there a little bit. But if I stay ahead of it, then I'm fine. Uh, but definitely make sure that you eat something because if you take it without, you get kind of queasy. So even if it's just like a granola bar, then that works great. Okay, thanks. Still day two post-op. Still got more errands to run. It's about 5 o'clock. Feeling my second win. Today's post-op day three. So um, in the paperwork it says that you may wash your hair every day. I usually wash mine every other day, so today was my every other day. So in the shower, just low pressure, using more of my whole hand when I was washing it. And then when I was combing it out, making sure that I'm not snagging any of my hair, just kind of holding it out this way and then combing it, pulling it out like that so that I'm not actually touching any of my scalp. I want to do that to comb it out. And then you can just kind of move it around a little bit. But even on the top, just picking it up, pulling it out. So that I'm not scraping any of the stuff on the surface. That's it. Since today is post-op three, this is the last night I have to sleep in the recliner. You can tell I've had quite a quite a few places done, but if you kind of move your hair over a little bit, it doesn't really show that much. The paperwork says that you can blow dry your hair, but I'm just gonna let it air dry. Today is day four post-op. And I noticed this morning when I when I woke up, I'm still having tenderness uh, on the incision at the back of my head. You don't have to zoom in on it. Anyway, all this back here at the back of my head is still real tender to touch. Still having to use ice packs uh, off and on throughout the day. Um, <clears throat> I thought this morning, since this would be day four post-op, that I would be able to uh, later today just sleep uh, on a regular bed instead of the recliner, but that was fairly sensitive to the back of my head, so I'm sticking with the recliner for a little bit longer. Um, I did notice today that on my forehead, apparently, I didn't, I hadn't really noticed it being swollen before, but apparently it must be less swollen because my forehead up in here is not tender to touch as it had been before. As I got closer to my hairline before, it was real tender to touch it through here, and I'm not noticing that so much anymore. So, and then as far as bruising, the only bruising that I've seen anywhere has been on the back of my hand, and that was yesterday. It showed up pretty good, but um, otherwise, uh, the top of my head feels okay. It's real hypersensitive to touch, so it's still being very, very gentle. You know, if I have to touch it, if I itch or anything like that, just kind of moving the hairs around rather than scratching my head. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it, day four.